your eyeliner is at the end of its life, try this. Just grab a pair of tweezers and pull out the felt tip. After that, dip it back into the component until it reaches the product at the bottom. Then just pull it back out and replace it like normal and your eyeliner will be saved. There's no question I got a lot of acne, but the most commonly asked fucking question I receive is how do you cover that shit up? How do you make it look like you have none at all and no texture? I'm gonna show you how I cover it up with no texture, no flaws at all. You need three products and I'm gonna show you what they are. Start with a sticky serum to fill in your pores. I like either the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid or the Exuviance Radiance Serum. From there, you need to prep the surface of the skin. Apply a sticky primer. I like Milk Hydro Grip or the Ordinary High Adherence Primer. And finally, you need a pot concealer. It has to be a pot concealer, not a liquid. Pot concealers allow you to create sort of a spackle on the face that hides the texture and covers the acne, and it dries down. If you don't use all three products in the right sequence, it will not work. First, apply the serum. Apply the sticky primer. Now take the pot concealer and cover all the acne. Now let it sit for two minutes. Do not blend it. Right over with foundation. Sorry, did you say acne? Yeah, we don't know her. If you've reached the end of your concealer bottle, try this little trick. Grab a pair of tweezers and then take out the stopper and you will be so surprised how much extra product is stuck under there. If your lipstick or lip balm looks like it's done, it's not. There's a lot of product that can be scooped out. So all of this was in here. I saw a video using color theory to make your perfect foundation and I had to try it. First, you wanna add white or black depending on how light or dark your skin tone is. Now we're gonna add yellow, red, and blue. I added more yellow because I'm more olive on the warmer side. I didn't add too much red because I was afraid of my skin looking too red. And then you wanna add some blue because apparently everyone has some blue in their skin. Now it is time to blend everything together and watch what happens. You can use any brush you want. I'm using my normal foundation brush. And what in the world, you guys? Like, are you seeing this? It looks like foundation. This really blew my mind. I'm glad I tried it. If you guys try it out, tag me. I want to see, but wait until the final look. And there you go. Flawless skin, your perfect shade. For the first time in a few days in it. Come on, you already know I'm trying this out. I'm putting this liquid contour all around my nose in a very thin layer, using concealer to highlight, using a sponge to blend, hands powder to perfect. Now we're gonna remove the powder and we got a nose job. hard to put them eyeliner like it's just doing like this and then you're done you can also do like a better one but like, like this maybe i don't know if you're struggling with your makeup because you got oily or combo skin this video is for you the two major issues we're seeing with oily skin oil and shine control throughout the day and emphasis on large pores step one get yourself a mattifying hydrating serum Contrary to popular belief, oily skin needs hydration too. This is the Neutrogena Matte Shine Control Serum. This has rice protein in it, which helps absorb oil. This step is very important. Grab an oil-free moisturizer. This one's from Kate Somerville. And grab some azelaic acid. This one's from The Ordinary. Azelaic acid is to help with brightness and texture. However, it does a fantastic job of neutralizing oils. Just trust me. Put some moisturizer. Put some azelaic acid. Mix. Let that sit for a solid three minutes. Then go in with your sunscreen. Now go in with your actual primer. You can go in with a shine and pore control primer like Nas and Dr. Brandt. Or you can go in with a silicone type of primer like Benefit or Smashbox. You're gonna look matte. You're gonna look poreless. Just trust me. That is absolutely crazy. I have to try it. Let's go. All that product freaks me out. So I want to make sure my base is prepped and moisturized. So I'm using these. I'm prepped and glowing. I really didn't know what concealer to use because I don't want it to be too cakey because of all the products because it's scaring me. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me because it's like hydrating. Let's draw the first line. I'm using a P. Louise brush. God, that's a 
bit wonky, isn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've mapped out where I'm gonna do it. And here we are, I'm aware they are not even. I just look so funny, so let's fill them in. Everything's here. Ooh. Add in some concealer. Foundation. What is disgusting, please, in my eyebrow? Jawline. Nose contour. Let's add blush. And this is what we are left with. I can't even deal. I personally don't think it's going to work, but go to part two for blending out. What's your sign? What it is? I'm a cancer. Body built like this. Like a dancer. Shake that ass. Throw the camera. If he a dirty bitch, then throw him in the hamper. How blush can change your face shape? Oh. Lift to shorten face. Um. Enhance cheekbones. Add fullness. Um. Um. Sun kiss. So apparently you could take your jammy jam, plushy pants, dip them in water and remove any makeup on your face. I'm gonna put the lady in my comments. I'm curious to see if this, if this shit truly works. <laughs> Know what I'm saying? So let's just, let's fuck it up real good. Yeah, let's whip this. Let's whip this shit. I'm curious to see if this is really gonna work. Alright, so take a little jammy jams. Shit. <laughs> dip a dip. And. Bitch! No way, Jose! What in the tartar sauce? Okay, let's test the lips. What in the fucking tartar sauce? <laughs> this shit works! This shit works! I'm gonna have the bomb in the fucking wheel. Make a lot of it again!